Hey guys, we're the Game Pro here, back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get 14-bit RAW video recording on the Canon EOS Rebel T2Y, or its other name, the Canon 550D. So this will be using Magic Lantern, which is a software you can install on uh, your Canon camera. I'll leave a link to a video on how to do that in the description uh, because I'm not sure I can explain it in great detail. So go down to the description, watch the video on how to install it and uh, come back and you know dial in the settings. So this, what you're seeing right now is recording in RAW. So this is an example of what it will look like. I have mine set to an aspect ratio of 2 by 39 by one so it's really cropped in so you'll have to like adjust for the crop you can set any one you want i'll show you everything uh after this so this is just a test to show you what it looks like hey guys so now i'm going to show you how i can get uh the raw video recording and i'll show you my settings also so first of all once you've finished installing your magic lantern uh I'll, there's a video in the description to show you how uh, you install it so you turn your camera on. Just make sure my SD card is in there. It is. So you turn your camera on. Focus. And then um, click this bin button right here. So click on the bin button. Go all the way to where it says modules and then look for MLV Play, MLV Rec, and MLV SND. And once you've done that, you click on them, click on them. So once you click on all, once you click on them and turn them all on, you have to turn off your camera. So you turn it on, off, wait for a few seconds. Then turn it on back, turn it back on again. And switch to video mode on your camera. So now to get all these things that you're seeing here, you click on display to get all of this. So now in order to get raw video recording, you go in there and go to your camera settings. So where it says movie, go up there, scroll all the way down, video MLV, it's gonna be turned off. So you turn it on. And now to go into the, uh, the full settings, you go into Q. Click on Q and to show you all your settings here. So this is my aspect ratio that I set 22 by 20 by 1 and this is my resolution that I'm using on this camera. I found this to, to be the one that I you know that, that works well. Uh, you can also increase and reduce it by using the scroll wheel up here. So you can reduce it. And if it shows green then it's going to be uh, a safe it's going to be, you know, it's going to say that it records continuously and you would always get good results. If it shows orange, that means it might work, it might not work. But what I do is, from where it says green, I go up two, stop two uh, levels above that. And that seems to work well for me. So, yeah, and once you've done that, you go, you then uh, curse Q again to go back and go into sound recording. So go into audio. Then scroll all the way down and turn on MLV sound. It's going to be off to turn it on and it will give you your settings. It will now allow you to record sound with the raw video. And once you've done all that, I recommend you turn the audio gain down to 10 because uh, it, it doesn't have, the audio doesn't distort if you're using uh, a, an external microphone. So once you've got all that done, uh, you then click here and to take you to your video, uh, the video. And now what this shows is where it's gonna crop. So this box here, everything you want to um, record has to be in this box. If it's not, it's gonna get cropped out of it. Of it. So let me just show you a video that I, let me uh, do a quick recording right now. So I'll get this and let's uh, zoom out a little bit, focus, and then to record you click here now it will show you the full screen but make sure anything you're recording is in the middle uh, if it's coming up with all these things 
just ignore it it still works fine for me so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to move the the camera away so i'm going to move it this way and i'll show you to show you that it crops it out of the way so i'm going to move this out it's going to crop it and move that again it's going to crop it so now you click that again to end the video give it some time and then to view your video you click on the on display button to do all these things and then start playing the video back for you and then as you can see it's, it's all in frame it has cropped in a little bit compared to what you were seeing before so everything you to show you what get crops what gets cropped and that's what that's what will be shown in your video and it's going with all those nice really black, uh, black bars for um, to give you, you know, a cinematic effect so once that you've done all that as you can see I'm moving it away and it's cropping the uh, adapter away so as you can see that's what it's doing so everything you want to record has to be in that in that, uh, that rectangle so now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can edit this footage using a MLV app so I'll leave a link in the description to that one also so let's get on to that okay guys so we're on my computer now and uh, once you've recorded your video uh, you want to take your SD card out of your camera and uh, transfer it into your computer or laptop so um, once, you've had, once you've transferred your file into your computer or laptop uh, you want to download this called MLV app so this will allow you to edit the uh, MLV file format and uh, do all my stuff. I'll just show you how you do it. So you download it from here. I'll leave a link to this in the, in the description. So once you've had have it downloaded, you want to open it. And once you've opened it, uh, go to file, import MLV, find where you imported it into. So I imported mine into uh, captures there. So then when you open it to show you the video, you can play it. Now it will show you the full screen, but make sure anything you're recording is in the middle. Now if it's coming up with all these things. So that now um, to edit, what, what I do personally is I go to profiles and then I, I select Sony S-Log3. It looks horrible, but I'll show you how to edit this, edit to edit this later on, the color gradient and all that. So once you've done all that, or you can do anything you want, you can you know change uh, color temperature, clarity, vibrance, saturation, everything. You can do all these things you want. But personally, I like to go into profiles and select Sony S Log Three. So and that's one way you can do S Log on the camera that doesn't support it. So then once you've done all your editing and everything, you then go into file and uh, go to export settings and uh, I recommend doing Apple ProRes 444 and uh, just leaving the settings the way it is or just make sure Apple Pro ProRes 444 is on and then once you're done with that you can close then go back into file again and export uh, current clips export selected clips so once you've done that uh, you find you, you do it where you want to do it so press save You had to do something there right okay so once you once you've exported it so go into here so select the clips and save it to start exporting and then once you had it all export exported you go into your um, premiere pro or whatever editing software you're using so i'm going to show you how to do it on a premiere pro you then find the app the um, video you exported so i did mine in youtube vids and test video so gonna drag and drop it in so once you've dro dropped it in there uh, what you want to do is turn on lumetri scope so this is what you're gonna use to um, you know edit the video so now I'm gonna use uh, this I'm gonna use basic correction so what you want to do here is just turn up the saturation I don't like that, but 
Okay, so I just turned up the saturation. I don't know why it's not. I don't, I don't see any any difference. Okay, yeah. So I turned up the saturation there, and uh, now what I, I like to use curves. So I set the. I make sure that the um, shadows go close to ten. And then I make sure the highlights go around close to 90 depending how how late my subject my uh, scene is I, I just do it till I feel like it's a good exposure so I'm just gonna put it on close to 90 here <sighs> right so I'm gonna turn down my exposure right now oh, what's going on here what's going on here I'm gonna turn down not to exposure I'm gonna turn down the saturation a little bit yeah, where this coming from? Okay, so I'm going to turn down the saturation. I'm not turning down, but increase it. And there, so you can do more things to it uh, to make it look better. Um, I can really show you. Oh, there we go. Turn that down so it looks good. There we go. So I'm going to put it back to 100. And then, if you're in Premiere Pro, um, this is one uh, thing I like to use. Uh, so this is a lot I like to use that already comes with the with the app. So it's this Kodak Five Two Eighteen uh, Two Three Nine Five. You click on that. Oh, is that the right one? No, I don't think it is. It's this one. And then I turn down the intensity of it to around there, and then I go back and uh, adjust my. I adjust everything. I adjust my uh, export, my brightness. I adjust the highlights. Make sure everything is not blown out and nice. So it's all nice. And then once you've uh, color graded it and everything, you go into your file. Basically, save it. Go into your file and export it. So uh, I'll put this at the end of the video, and I'll do. Uh, yeah, so. I'll do another clue that I uploaded uh, before. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Um, and everything that I've done here, I'll leave links in the description. So that's good. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you can know when I release videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.